Perfect. and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be showing you how I package and ship my orders through Shopify. So if you're interested, please continue to watch and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Now let's get into the video. Okay, so first I'm gonna log into my Shopify account. Okay. And then I'm gonna go to orders and then I'm gonna click on the order. And I'm also going to create ship and label. So I'm going to print my packing slip and then prepare the order. And once I'm done preparing the order, I'll return back with you guys. Okay, now that I'm at my printer, I'm just going to go ahead and print the packing slip. Now that it's done, Printing the packing slip, I'm going to go ahead and prepare the order. So now I'm at my inventory bin. I'm just going to go ahead and prepare the order. Okay, now that the order is ready, I'm just going to begin packaging it. So please continue to watch. Thank you so much. Okay, now I'm going to put their names on their bags because we're going to the same location as just different people ordered. So, Now I'm just going to close them up, make sure all the air is out of it. Okay, now that that's done, I'm just going to place my stickers on the orders. Them. So now I'm going to place all uh, these other bags into this bag. Hopefully it'll fit. <laughs> Okay, now that I have that in the bag, I'm going to make sure I check off everything. Okay. okay. I'm going to put the invoice in the bag. Um, and then I'm going to close it. Okay, now that I've finished packaging my order, I'm just going to go ahead and 
weigh it. I'm gonna make sure this goes at zero. And place my product on the scale. So five pounds, 10.2. Okay, now that I've finished getting the weight for my product, I'm just going to go ahead and enter it into Shopify. I'm going to make sure I click Add Package and click the Soft Package and enter my length, which is 19, and the width would be 14 and 0.5. And the weight was five pounds. And then I'm gonna click print shipping label. I'm gonna make sure my computer is set with Rolo. Okay. And then I'm gonna click print. Now with my Rolo, it's very simple. All I do is I insert my shipping paper, shipping label paper, you know what I'm talking about. Into the machine. Okay, so my camera had actually died on me, but here's another important step that I like to do while packaging my orders. I like to tape my shipping address and the tracking number just in case, you know, the shipping slip gets wet in between delivering the order. That way the shipping address and the tracking number will still be recognizable. Okay, now that I've successfully fulfilled the order, I will drop off the package in the morning at the UPS store. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope this video was very helpful for you guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace. <laughs> Perfect.